Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you can Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is an I Felt Like It read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. I, I have a kind of a different view. Maybe we're going to just try and see, you know. <clears throat> see how it works out. Um, I have the uh, Santo Muerte Tarot, and then I have the Shaka Wisdom Oracle cards. So we're going to just, I'm going to set these aside, okay? And we're going to see uh, what kind of energies we got floating around. All right. So whoever is, you know, catching this video. It's kind of a nice day today. It's kind of a relaxed mood, you know. So let's see what we got. What do we have? What kind of energies do we have? Who's coming to this video? Who's, who's coming to this video? Two of Pentacles. Okay. So somebody who's pretty busy, right? It is showing like two people though. Right? Two people who are busy. Two people getting together. Two people multitasking. You could be juggling two people. Two people doing things together. Hmm. Yeah. So that's the energy of whoever, you know, whoever's shown up here. You know, two of pentacles is, a, is an energy of multitasking, um, juggling, you know, doing too much. So we could have somebody who's do also doing too much here. Have you got a lot on your plate? Right? Pretty busy? A lot going on, busy schedule. Two of Swords, so you're gonna have to make a decision over whatever it is that you are busy with, right? So maybe you maybe you gotta lighten the load. You know. Because you, we have the we have the two of swords, it look at it looks like a scissors, right? So maybe you gotta cut some things out of your um schedule it's maybe it's too much it's taking a toll right what do we have here three of wands okay so the potential is 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 i think that you are waiting to do something okay you're waiting to cut something out something that's just you know multitasking you got too much going on you know cutting something out of your life uh, but you're waiting for the right time to do it. So this could also be, it could be like a job even. Like maybe you're waiting to quit your job until you have a certain amount saved because, uh, you know, it's it's taking a toll on you and you're, you're almost at your, um, there you go. Maybe, you know, that could be a confirmation. Uh, and, and you're maybe at your, um, you, you know, your, uh, where you want to be, right? Your goal, right? So that could be something too. Not too bad. I mean, kind of regular daily kind of stuff here, right? Uh, a lot of people going through something like this, possibly. You know, well, what is the obstacle here, though? What's standing in the way from uh, somebody not moving forward? Oh, what is this? This is the Seven of Swords, you see? Now, on this casket, in the back of this guy, it says hope and reflection. So, somebody uh, is waiting for the right time to do something, but as they're doing that, they're reflecting on something. So, somebody is going to be cutting someone out of their, or someone, or a job, or a situation, out of their life. And they're reflecting on it. See, they can't do it yet. They're waiting for something to happen with this uh, three of wands right here, right? And, but they're reflecting on it. 
uh, and somebody is also hope ha they have hope in their heart for something too because somebody was deceptive there was deception here right somebody could also be hoping that they're not going to be found out found out about what they did right reflection right yeah mm -hmm. look i just happened to look at the bottom of the deck we got the two of cups right here sorry the queen of cups no, I said the two of cups, even though I knew, oh, maybe, maybe somebody's going to be cutting out a uh, queen of cups. What's a possible outcome to this? I mean, to this entirety. The Hierophant. So somebody wants to cut... Um, okay, so th this is... I, I have a couple of things that this could be. All right. The other card that came out is the Sun. We're going to set it right there, but I'm going to end up putting that back, okay? Somebody needs to cut something out of their life, right? Because they're waiting... But they're waiting for the right time to do it, right? Somebody, somebody might be thinking about marriage, or a higher level of commitment or changing their major or you know gosh I even got the thought somebody might be even dropping out of school because they might have gotten an opportunity a money-making opportunity somebody you know enlighten them to something like uh, you know a money-making you know not like a scheme I don't feel like it's in a bad way either I think it's like a good legit something you know what I mean uh, that's some, that's one thing. Also, somebody might be considering um, a higher level of commitment, like maybe asking somebody to marry them or something, but they're waiting for the right time because they're trying to cut out all the extras in their life, right? Trying to cut out all these extra, wh wh whoever they were multitasking with, right? Or juggling with over here. That could be it too. Somebody has become enlightened to that's what they want to do. They want to, you know, settle down maybe right something like that yeah okay so that's that's a couple stories all right that queen of cups is still at the bottom of the deck here so it could actually be somebody uh somebody could actually be wanting to cut a bunch of people out whatever because of this because they want to approach this person maybe even it could be that too you know Somebody could either want to be cut this person out or they want to cut people out so they can go to this person, right? Or it could be this person cutting people out. You know, it could go so many ways, you guys. Let's keep, uh, let's keep pulling some cards, see what comes out. What else do we have here for this juggling and this decision making? Oh, <laughs> darn. Okay, we have judgment in the reverse. So somebody is not going to place judgment on this situation, whatever this is, right? So, and it could be they're not going to place judgment because somebody might be cutting out people from their life that they used to date or communicate with that they just, you know, because they want to ha form a higher level of commitment somewhere. I think that's the proper thing to do is that you cut out like your exes and all that stuff, right? People you dated or whatever. So there's no judgment going to be placed on this by anyone because that person might say, hey, you know, it was fun while it lasted, but I have decided that I want to settle down with someone and blah, blah, blah. And there's no judgment being placed on that, right? Because that's what everybody does eventually, right? We go through the dating phase, we go through whatever phase, and eventually we might find somebody that we actually like, right? And want to kick it with. So uh, that's why I see that no judgment uh, is being placed on, on this situation, you know, because all honesty is being made here. You know, when you're honest like that, you're just like, hey, you know, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, people are cool, you know, people are relaxed and chill, you know, discussing things like adults right yeah so i see something like that happening here okay yeah oh my gosh you guys look at what's at the bottom of the deck the world so somebody here is definitely ending things uh with people right okay <laughs> that was a good one right that was a good uh call to look at the bottom of the deck 
kind of like a confirmation, another confirmation. So that's cool, you know. Okay, this is in the upright, okay. Nine of Cups. Yeah, look, wish fulfillment. So somebody is waiting to possibly, you know, spring the question, right? Or waiting to make that move, you know, or take the next step, right? Yeah, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. They're waiting for the time to do that because, you know, if you are trying to go to a higher level of commitment, you want to make sure that everything that you've been dealing with in the past is taken care of properly. You don't want to have any hangups. And that's with everything. That's with work, relationships, uh, whatever. Right? So somebody is, is trying to tie up loose ends. Right? Very good. Uh, it's also that Seven of Swords waiting because of that Seven of Swords. Ooh! That was a fumble from my hand. I put it back. But we have here, what is this? The Nine of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So somebody is not losing sleep over this. They're not upset about this anymore, right? Whatever the deceptions were, there, there's, it's not an issue like it may have been in the past, right? Because of this, because they're taking care of loose ends, right? So they're not really worried about that anymore, right? <clears throat> Somebody is hoping, though, that when they do have this done or whatever taken care of, that they will still be able to come out with this sort of ending, right? As, you know, the Hierophant, this higher level of commitment, right? Tell us a little bit more about that Hierophant and this uh, Seven of Swords, about this hope. You got two cards that came out. All right, we have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so there, somebody, because somebody's going to be honest. Remember, I told you guys earlier that if you're honest and you, you know, matter of fact, you know, discuss like adults, this, that, and the other, everything is going to be okay. That's all you need to do is have truthfulness, right? You know, nobody got to get angry or fight. And, you know, you can discuss things normally, you know, in a nice, calm, you know, don't get all tripped out or angry, right? Look, Queen of Swords. So somebody somebody might be com coming up to some truth about a Queen of Swords. Or they might be telling this information to a Queen of Swords. Right? So something is going here. And she doesn't look like she's kind of stressing about anything. She's chilling. She's just like in the flowers. Taking care of her land or I don't know whatever she's doing right she's chilling right there and looking over whatever she has right um but she also is a person she doesn't worry about stuff too much uh she also might be waiting for some sort of truth to come in from somebody also right about uh a marriage yeah she might be waiting if you're resonating with this person who really doesn't have any problems very truthful doesn't worry too much about stuff but you, you might have a little bit of something bothering you in regards to uh, waiting for the truth to come in, in regards to uh, a person's marriage or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, this all doesn't have to resonate to a T, but some things here and there might. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, a lot. that's about the competition, so... It's like somebody here wants the truth about something. Somebody here wants to know the truth. Period. And that's it. Okay. I'm going to put her back. She was next to her when they came out. Or somebody might be even telling somebody about a queen of swords. Telling the truth about like, you know, being with her or wanting to be with her. Wanting to work with her. Whatever. Right? And you can flip flop the energies. Male, female, whatever. Right? We, got, we saw the Queen of Cups earlier. That's Gemini. Uh, I'm sorry. That's uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And then we saw Queen of Swords here. That's Gemini Libra Aquarius. So, you know, maybe those signs might resonate. Maybe you might have that somewhere in your, in your chart. Somewhere tucked away. One of those signs. So, tell me what's going to happen when in regards to this wish fulfillment after, you know... 
somebody takes care of business. Ace of Pentacles. So after all this is taken care of, somebody is hoping to start something new in regards to stability, right? A brand new start in stability after they cut out whatever all this, these extras are, right? So somebody wants to start something brand new, like just start a new life somewhere else or something like that, right? Tell about this. Tell us about this uh, wish fulfillment and no stress. I ca I'm kind of feeling somebody having a high level of confidence here, right? Because their hope is high or something. I don't know. I got high, high hopes. I don't know why. You know, uh, that's like a song, a, a little kid song, right? I got high hopes. Something like that. I don't really know that song, but that came out. <laughs> You know, uh, we also have the nine of pentacles. So yeah, somebody is waiting to get single. <laughs> so they can get wish fulfillment. So somebody may uh, be, you know, I. so somebody might have been in a situation where they were married. It wasn't very happy. And that's what might be the truth that comes in, that somebody's going to say, I was married, you know, and I wasn't happy. And I knew maybe that you weren't going to uh, fall for any bullshit or something like that, right? So I took care of business. And now I'm here and now I'm back. And I want to start something brand new with you. I'm single now. And I want the wish fulfillment. I waited to do this so we wouldn't have any stresses, things to keep us up at night that would be bothersome. Whoa! Trippy, right? Something like that. Some, something like that. I mean, not word for word or anything like that. I'm not a channeler like that, but something along those lines, you know. Tell us a little bit more about this truth. Three of Pentacles. What is this guy carrying? They want to work with you. They want to be with you. They want to. That's the truth. They want to work with you. That's what whoever is relaying the message. That's what you're. They're gonna say like, I want to collaborate with you. I want to be with you. You know. That's what they're gonna say. They don't want to lose no more sleep over or no more time, I'm hearing. They don't want to lose no more time away. That's the truth. They want marriage. Wow. <laughs> nice for somebody, you know, if that's what you want, you know. If that's what you want, this is a nice thing, you know. I think it is, you know. I would like to find somebody to come to me with all this kind of honesty, you know. That's the best. So lucky you if you are dealing with something kind of similar or close to this, All right? Sounds good. Or maybe you were here, you were worried about something, but it looks like somebody wants to come in. Somebody is trying to get their shit together for you. Looks like I don't know, <laughs> kind of. And that's that's freaking nice for you, you know. I think that's very good. Um. Oh, I didn't ask. Uh, what about this? Uh. The new start w with the single person. New start with the single person. New start with the single person. That's, whoa, okay. Four of Wands. Oh my gosh, because uh, maybe this is your soulmate. Look, Four of Wands, dude. Four of Wands. Because this is your soulmate? Or they think, they think wish fulfillment with their soulmate. They're waiting to, oh shit. It kind of sounds like somebody realized who they were, who their soulmate was, this, that, and the other. And now they're trying to do the right thing so they can be with that person. The typical story of, you know, soulmate thing, you know, like twin flame, whatever. That's what it looks like. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's everybody's story, but... 
this is it kind of looks like this is what everybody would want to be their story but in reality i don't know if this happens to someone out there dude can you please freaking comment below because i want to know if it, that this kind of shit will happen i mean the only way that we can find out if this stuff is true and stuff if if people comment and say yes that it, it does eventually get to that point or whatever you know what i'm saying I'm just saying, we got a soulmate energy type of thing going on here, right? Tell us about this single person and collaboration. What's, what kind of collaboration is going to happen? What kind of collaboration is going to happen right here with this single person? Kind of collaboration gonna happen with this single person? Oh, what's that? Eight of Pentacles. Working on your craft. So there might be also something, maybe what you guys do together. There's something that you might because working on your craft, eight of pentacles, that's working on your craft. That's like an individual working on their craft. So this might be if you uh, do, oops, sorry, if you do collaborate with each other, with the single person, you're going to be working on something together as, you know, like a one thing, you know what I'm saying? Like as a, a couple owner or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it could be, you know, you could be working together on one relationship, working to yeah, on being in one relationship. That just came out. I'm trying to give you an example, so that might actually be something for real. Um, but you're gonna be collaborating together truthfully in a marriage. Whoa, that sounds nice too. So somebody's gonna hear. I think somebody's gonna be with their their uh, soulmate, something like that. Look, the magician at the bottom of the deck. So trying to manifest this into fruition. This is nice, this reading for whoever, right? This is a nice one. What's this? This will be the final card. King of Pentacles. Look at that. And and so this person, and he's very stable, you know. Look at him, too. He's trying to get ready for you. You got a fucking, <laughs> you got a fucking uh, chest of what's in there, money or what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So somebody here is basically trying to get ready to give somebody something a wonderful life looks like or something right and that would be that's awesome if that's the case right they're just waiting for somebody's waiting for something you know we all gotta wait you know and and so whoever you know they might go to they, this person might be a queen of wands right or they could be leaving a queen of wands or they could be hearing the news about this from a queen of wands because look at how she is look how she looks she's like hey like she's trying to say something so or, or so or the queen of wands maybe trying to say something to someone she might be involved somehow somewhere this queen of wands i don't know something like that king of pentacles that would be uh taurus Virgo, capricorn queen of wands will be uh leo aries sagittarius so you know however it could, it could be so many different ways that this person is involved just like the queen of swords and the queen of cups so many different ways that she's involved but we definitely have a a, a male counterpart right here king of pentacles but we don't see the female counterpart right queen of pentacles didn't show up just uh these women here so and, and the, the oh sorry and, and the reading that that was the complete reading so i don't know how that plays out you know maybe novella style who knows who knows? Uh, maybe this is a family situation. Maybe these are relatives somebody might be talking to. I don't know. <clears throat> I did, uh, once again, I grabbed the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. Remember I said at the beginning I have these ones, right? So, uh, yeah. Let's see what comes out when it, in regards to these. I'm just seeing whatever flies out, too. Whatever. I'm going to go, go through it probably twice. Mysticism. Right? So somebody could even be cutting out uh, that they've been dealing with this kind of people or this kind of situation. Maybe somebody used to do all kinds of things. Somebody, Or maybe somebody uh, used to mess around with that kind of thing and they're cutting that out of their life. Or maybe somebody cut the cord on something. I don't know. <laughs> you know, who knows? Uh, somebody may have learned something, you know. 
So that could have been involved here. Uh, in this person's past though, right? Acceptance. Somebody might be coming to the conclusion or accepting who they are or, or what they did or how they dealt or how they're going to be dealing with something. Um, they're not going to do it right away though because they're, it's going to take some time. They're waiting for, you know, something. They're waiting for something to release or accept something, right? quest right and you know somebody is is going to be on a quest on a quest for some truth they are on a quest for some truth to release the truth to give the truth to somebody because they want to work with someone let's see what else comes out renewal right what do we have here Oh, shit. So, yeah, renewal fell right on top of the Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So, this is definitely somebody you know. Uh, these two have these, this soulmate situation. They're, they, you know, y'all know each other. And somebody here is trying to renew it somehow, some way. Uh, let's hope they're not trying to do any kind of willy-nilly mysticism shit, right? Let's hope that they are trying to cut that out of their life. Because that shit is, it's stupid. All right, that's all I'm saying. Uh, impatience, right? Uh, somebody here also might be a little impatient, you know, uh, especially with trying to collaborate or make something grow. But, you know, you can't force anything. Right? You can't force that plant to grow. He's watering it, but don't force it because uh, you might kill the plant you overwater. Right? Everything in its time. So somebody needs to learn to be a little bit more patient. And patient also being is because we all have our own quests to be on and you can't rush a person through their quest. That's what I'm catching here. Uh, I don't know who that's for. You can't rush a person through their journeys uh, of healing or whatever they're trying to, you know, do, you know, I want one more card, final card. trickery king of pentacles it's on the king of pentacles it's on the eight of pentacles okay wah, 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 right that shit always happens but you know what somebody is, okay so this king of pentacles could have been tricked or this king of pentacles is coming to trick someone uh and try to say oh i want to renew something with you and they might be doing some little willy-nilly or whatever that's stupidness right but just be on your guard here always and anyways right anyways this story could have been, okay, I could have ended it right there and then stopped it, right? And been like, blah, blah, blah. But then the trickery card came out low key. I felt like I needed to take one more card, right? But even if I didn't get this trickery card, always be on your toes anyways, right? Just to be on the safe side. If you if this person approaches you and you you get that feeling you used to get when they approach like it's and it's not a good feeling it's like a feeling like an uncomfortable like fuck I don't want them here now you know but you don't say anything because you're a nice person right if you get that feeling again then you know that there's something wrong right you know and it's like you gotta figure out how to separate yourself from that person all over again or whatever you know in a nice way without causing problems or issues or drama right. You get that feeling that you know maybe there is some trickery involved and that is your intuition telling you, hey, watch out. But if they come and everything seems okay and there's no weird fucked up feeling, just give it some time. I mean, don't just jump in anything anyways, right? Give it some time because this did come out. Trickery. Look. Okay. So I'm just saying, and it's it goes right on top of him trickery towards the single person or maybe he might come oops sorry I keep bumping in the camera uh, or he might come back and say that he's single and maybe he might not be I don't know so just uh you know completion something too now trickery doesn't always have to be um really bad deceptions it could be 
but it also could be somebody just doesn't want you to know something. Maybe somebody doesn't want you to know that he has this chest full of money. Also, that could be trickery too. So, I don't know. You gotta take that shit how you guys, you know, how it resonates. Okay? So, that was, that's what I have for you guys today. I felt to do a reading, you know, so here it is. Uh, if it resonated, you guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy, right? Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.